Hello, and welcome to my demo for the Micro VGA controller built on the Arduino development platform. Now, the way that I decided to set this up, because there are plenty of different solutions online, but uh, most of those solutions get all fuzzy if you ever try to change any of the pixel data, because the microcontroller is really pushed to its limits when doing VGA applications. The uh, 16 megahertz clock just is barely enough to do anything. So what I did is I decided to sacrifice some resolution so that I could build my own little FSM inside and actually be able to augment the pixel map. So uh, one of the things I did is I started off by building a random feature. So uh, most of the features on this VGA controller are very simple. It's really picture translate up by a count, translate down by some number, or side to side by some number, or individual pixel transformations. And that's pretty much all you can do besides random and clear. And all of this is fed through the serial bus to the FSM inside the chip. So if I start the chip up again, it's defaulted to start on the random mode, which randomly shifts everything around. It also randomly changes the pixels and it uses the analog information to derive the random value. So it gets pretty random as long as it doesn't get sticky. So let me start up with the, uh, the processing GUI code that I built for this so we can show you a little better what this thing can do. So once again, it starts off random. So if I disable the random and clear it away, then uh, we can use the, the, the mouse and the keyboard to draw individual pixels. If blue, maybe if you mix colors, they change. And if I add green, it'll turn white. You get the idea. So we can take that picture, move it side to side or up and down. Realistically, what the processing GUI is doing is it's doing all the modulo operation for it so that uh, we don't go outside of the memory bounds. But if you're not careful, since the Arduino code isn't very uh, intelligent isn't a good word, uh, we'll call it robust. Uh, since it's not robust, it expects the thinking to be done by the GUI. So uh, you probably want to use this GUI before you uh, try to change it for yourself, just to have some code to augment. But you get the basic idea. So now if I turn on the other random mode, then you can see this is what happens when we run the UART at 115 kilohertz or kilobots and uh, it's pretty much the fastest that it can go and uh, what we have is it's trying to change a pixel and trying to shift the the data around up or side or both as fast as it possibly can so this is a way to show you how fast it can get which is not very fast but the 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 it's not blurry or you don't get any artifacts on the screen especially if i disable it you can see that the two pictures, the one on the top and the one down below, they agree. Even if I move it side to side, they're still the same picture. So you could basically keep any kind of picture inside of your processing application. Maybe your picture is a Frogger game or a Pong game. And as long as pixels do not change too quickly, then you can implement that all on this little Arduino board. So any of the code that you need to do this for yourself will all be on the site at markjobus.com and uh, you will be able to uh, basically plug and chug this because I'll put the, uh, the schematic for the wiring of the pins on there as well and all you need is just a few resistors. So I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.